Hi, I'm Don Shuey. I want to talk a little bit about the workshop that I'm going to be offering at Easton Mountain in April called That's Amore, Creative Rituals for Intimacy and Renewal. I first did this workshop last summer in Italy. It was specifically a retreat for couples. And it was based on my understanding from my work as a therapist with couples that in long-term relationships, often there comes a time when the familiar and uh, pleasurable patterns of domesticity get a little stale and start leaving out things like satisfying sexual connection or quality uh, communication. So I uh, devised this retreat to teach couples the rudiments of creating intentional ceremony and then took them through a bunch of variations of uh, ceremonial ways to just do things different, get outside the box in sort of three categories, verbal communication, physical touch, and then using cre creative elements like singing, writing, taking pictures, dancing, using you know, sort of the arts to uh, have fun, you know, create fun, to do things together in a way that's a little different. There's a big hit and the couples who attended this retreat got a lot out of it. And I was talking about it just afterwards to my friend Graziano and he said, you know, Don, single guys need this too. I mean, we know how to text each other or do the, you know, communicating on social media, maybe meet somebody for coffee at Starbucks. But, you know, there are a lot of, you know, how to get to the place of being in a relationship or, you know, getting to know someone over time. I'm a little clueless about that and I could use some guidance. And I thought about it, I thought, you know, the things that I led couples through, they could just as easily work for singles and so that's why I decided to try this out and, and conduct this program at Easton Mountain for singles and couples where every it'll, the retreat will start Thursday night and Sunday afternoon as retreats at Easton do and throughout that whole time I'll be uh, start with teaching people the rudiments of creating ritual and sacred space and then we'll uh, go through a variety of uh, activities that uh, with some guidance from me and then invite people to use their creativity to see what it's like to do something different than you usually do. So uh, feel, if you want to know more check out my website, the Easton Mountain website and if you have questions ask me. So I've been asked by people that, uh, on staff at Easton Mountain to let people know whether That's Amore is a workshop that will involve nudity or not. I'm not sure I understand why people think of me as someone who does naked workshops and why that's a question that even needs to be answered. I think of this workshop as very much focused on creating ritual and intentional ceremony. So the way I look at it is if people want in their physical touch activities to be naked, they're, they're welcome to be if they want to be dressed. It's really up to them. The, the essence of the workshop will be inviting people to use their creativity and their imagination to uh, create rituals and ceremonies of their own devising. Does that answer the question?